A cell is the smallest unit of life. All living matter around us is comprised of cells. They are the smallest living unit in all organisms. I don't know about you, but I just thought of cells in a very simplistic way. We have the nucleus, cytoplasm, the mitochondria, and the cell wall. Here is a quick video of Dr. Colin Robertson describing how wonderfully complex a cell actually is and how our bodies are a reflection of the universe we live in. And often we use pictures like this when we're doing so. And on the right, we've got something that again is flat and shows something of the process that is taking place within that cell. But the reality is far more involved and far more complex. And when we understand that, I think that's the moment that we realize we really do have a, a duty of care to consider what it is that we're influencing when we make these decisions. Here's a better image. This is now starting to show you really the reality of what a cell looks like. And if, you know, if we consider this for a moment, it looks far more like a cross section of a planet. When we see those outer crust and those layers and we see all that activity that's going on within there and all these key component parts, it's not flat. It's not something that we can just take a surface glance at. There's so much happening beneath the surface. In fact, so when we look at this, and this is a detailed illustration of the cell, and this was gathered from multiple layers of complex information derived from NMR, uh, when we're looking at things like MRI scanning technology that really zones us in to a much closer level. And what we can see here is a landscape of activity. And this landscape of activity is what we're actually trying to influence. It's what we're actually trying to sustain and support when we engage with our nutritional practices. This, this image has far more in common with this, which is a, a bird's eye view of New York City. It is an advanced infrastructure that relies wholly on effective communication, diversity and balance. It requires everything to be in its place. It requires that continued interaction. If a piece is missing, then something goes wrong. That's just simple fact. If consistently there isn't enough of what we need in place, and if we consider New York City for a moment, if there weren't enough taxis to take all those people to all those places they need to be, then the system would work less effectively. The system would start to break down. And that's what we need to consider because this is very similar to what is happening inside of us. We have this really advanced ecosystem that relies on the exact same components as the ecosystems we've invented that we rely on in our day-to-day -day lives. And if there are parts missing, or if there is an insufficient amount of certain parts, then the system starts to come under strain. The system starts to break down. So you see how amazing our body is right down to the minutest level. We all want to lead our best life possible. And to achieve this, we need to function optimally at a cellular level. Remember, it's always the little pieces that make the beautiful big picture. Our health is determined by the trillions of cells which make up our body. To get our cells working well, what are the two key things we have to get right? First and foremost, we have to provide our cells with a variety of nutrients to support the energy producing biochemical reactions taking place in each cell. To function in an optimal manner, our cells need macronutrients like proteins, carbs and healthy fats, and micronutrients like vitamins, minerals, trace elements and amino acids. Nutrient deficiency over an extended period of time causes our cells to malfunction, leading to many lifestyle diseases. Unfortunately, our body does not give us immediate signals of a lack of nutritional intake. This takes months and sometimes years to manifest. These days, 
It is possible to have a diet that is high in calories but low in nourishment. Food manufacturers have prioritized shelf life and marketability over nutrition and health. Consumed on a daily basis, these foods impact the health of our cells, leading to a lack of energy, skin problems, hair loss, allergies, low immunity, etc. etc. A factor that isn't often talked about is the health of the cell wall. Ideally, the cell membrane should be in the form of a flexible gel which maintains cell structure while allowing membrane contents to move. A healthy cell membrane allows nutrients to get into the cell and waste to get out. Decades of investigation has shown that consuming essential fatty acids in the correct ratio restores and maintains cell membrane fluidity. There are also many lifestyle factors that can also impact cellular health. Adequate sleep, exercise and hydration are crucial for the health of our cells. And too much toxicity and stress are detrimental. Maintaining a balance in everything is important. Please watch my videos on supplementation and how to pick the right supplements if you do choose to take them. For further information and recipes, please like and subscribe to my channel.